Seri Shagan, Russian, Seri Sagan Kazakh, Seri Sagan is an anti-ballistic missile testing range located in Kazakhstan. On 17 August 1956 the Council of Ministers of the Soviet Union authorized plans for an experimental facility for missile defense located at Seri Shagan, on the west bank of Lake Balkash. The first missile launched from the facility was a V-1000 on 16 October 1958, but the facilities for full-scale testing were not ready until 1961. Seri Shagan remains in use to this day, with the latest known launch on July 2, 2019. Seri Shagan was a closed city until 2005, the length of the site is 480 km. The Seri Shagan range was the intended landing site for the sample return canister of the Russian Phobos Grunt mission. Topic. History The first and only one in Eurasia test site for the development and testing of anti-missile weapons. In USSR, the official name of the test site is State Research and Testing Site No. 10 USSR Ministry of Defense. The landfill occupied 81,200 square kilometers, including 49,200 square kilometers in the Karaganda region, Kazakh SSR. The construction of the landfill and the city began in 1956 in connection with the development of a missile defense system called System A. The main criteria for selecting a site for the landfill, like when creating the Kapustin Yar and NIIP-5 rocket ranges, Baikonur, were the presence of sparsely populated lowland woodland, a large number of cloudless days, and the lack of valuable farmland. Marshall Nedelin recalled, this is a very harsh desert region, uninhabited, unsuitable for grazing flocks. Stony barren and waterless desert. But the main dwelling of the missile defense ground can be tied to Lake Balkash. It has fresh, though harsh, water, and the town will be blissful if you can apply this word to the desert. On June 9, 1960 and at the test site General Designer OKB-301 S.A. Lavochkin died of a heart attack. During the test of the Air Defense System Dahl. March 4, 1961 and for the first time in the world a ballistic missile warhead was hit by an experimental complex missile defense IL, System A missile defense, System A, RU, Sistema A at the test site. In October 1961 and October 1962, five nuclear explosions at altitudes from 80 km to 300 km were carried out over the test site during Soviet Project K nuclear tests. July 15, 1966 and by the decree of the Presidium of the Supreme Soviet of the USSR, the landfill was awarded the Order of Lenin for successfully completing the tasks of developing, developing and mastering new military equipment. April 20, 1981 and the test site 10 GNIIP Air Defense Forces was awarded the Order of the Red Star. All Soviet and Russian complexes pro and air defense long range, many promising radar, experimental complexes based on combat laser high power including including the program Terra, Omega. In total, the following was tested at the test site, 6 anti-missile systems, 12 anti-aircraft missile systems, 7 types of anti-missile, 12 types of anti-aircraft guided missiles, 14 types of measuring equipment, 18 radar systems and several systems on new physical principles. Testing of 15 strategic missile systems and their modifications is provided. In 1998, the Seri Shagan test site was withdrawn from the troops AD and reassigned to 4th State Central Interspecific Test Site administered by RVSN. Topic: <laughs> Current status. 
In the 1990s, most of the landfill facilities were decommissioned and abandoned, in subsequent years, they were looted by marauders, and the equipment was dismantled. As of 2014, due to the controversial legal status of abandoned landfill sites, these territories have not been cleaned up, they are cluttered with the remnants of buildings and structures, and are polluted by landfill waste. After the proclamation in 1991 of the independence of Kazakhstan, its sovereignty extends to the landfill. In 1996, an agreement was signed between the government of the Russian Federation and the government of the Republic of Kazakhstan on the lease of the Seri Shagan testing ground, under which Russia leased part of the landfill area. The areas to which the rent did not apply were transferred to the use of the Republic of Kazakhstan. However, no specific steps have been taken, the property has not yet been taken to the balance of the relevant departments of Kazakhstan. In fact, the territory of the landfill is not protected. In practice, the site is open to all who wish to visit it. There are no designations of the boundaries of the landfill, no information signs and shields on which it would be explained what the risk of unauthorized visitors to the landfill and the responsibility they may incur for it. To obtain the same official permission, subject to the availability of all the necessary documents, it takes many months. Without any permits at the landfill site, the local population earns a living by collecting scrap and mining building materials. Media reported several cases of the discovery of remnants of weapons by the population, for example, those found in 2005 in abandoned barrels with napalm, the Soviet military name is Ognesmas. In connection with the collapse of the Soviet defense industry and in connection with the reduction of Russian missile defense programs and FFP since the late 1990s, missile tests at the test site have been performed only once or twice a year. In particular, in December 2010 and training exercises were conducted with a Topol rocket. The military units of the Ministry of Defense of Kazakhstan from 2005, entry into the city of Pryazersk is carried out without a permit. Until 2009, the Kazakhstan Road Police at security checkpoint KPP recorded the time of entry, the model of the car, and state number. Since 2009, the data of the majority of cars entering are not recorded. October 24, 2012 and a conditional target at the test site destroyed a prototype of a new Russian ballistic missile with a mobile launcher minus 26 rupees, launched from Kapustin Yar in Astrakhan areas Russia. On March 4, 2014, the minus 12 million rupees Topol intercontinental ballistic missile launched from Kapustin Yar test site in Astrakhan region Russia struck a training target at the test site. In 2016, the Russian Kazakh agreement was ratified, which established new boundaries of the landfill, excluding some sections. At the beginning of 2017, the modernization of the experimental test base of the test site began. The ground-based optical electronic systems, BRAM, optical electronic stations of the trajectory measuring complex, OES TIC, optical electronic stations, Sajun TM, receiving antenna complexes were delivered. Topic. Other notable military complexes on site In the 1970s the Vimpel NPO, Geophysica, Fazitron, MNIIRE Altair, others, built the Terra-3 Laser Testing Center at Seri Shagan. Topic. Radar site The Seri Shagan site has hosted a number of radar prototypes such as the Don-2NP. 
Also there is Balkash 9 radar station a few km away which started in the 1960s and still functions as part of the Russian Missile Warning Network. References in fiction The Seri Shagan site is one of the USSR ABM, SDI sites featured in the Tom Clancy novel The Cardinal of the Kremlin. The site is mentioned in the manga, Battle Angel Alida in reference to a supposedly historical weapon, a scalar field device called the Sarishigan Tiger. <laughs>